So Julia, what's your background? How did you come to be working here? My background is a social work background. So in England I worked with a lot of children, young people, families who had difficulties. And I moved to Italy when I was 25 years of age. This is where I met my husband and we began to work here in Città della Pieve together. How great is the need here in this part of Italy? There's a very great need here in Città della Pieve. Italy is very unlike England in that there isn't already a support network set up. So if we consider that there's 38% unemployment between the young people, people who have lost their jobs don't automatically get money from the government. Many families are without any sort of support at all. One of the families that we're actually supporting at the minute is a family whose father is unemployed. The mother actually works, she actually gets about three euros an hour. And with that work she has to support her husband and two children. And obviously she has to buy things for school. Her little boy has special needs and she doesn't receive any special needs support for her child. She's trying to actually send him to a specialist, but on that work she's having great difficulty. Tell me a little bit about the centre, what sort of things do you offer? We're beginning to set up many different activities in the centre. A few of them are already up and running, others we have projected to begin in the near future. So we have people who are coming who are elderly, who are lonely. We have groups for mums with small children, groups for teenagers. So every age group really we're aiming to help and to cover. So how many centres like this are there in we are actually the only centre here in this area that are providing these activities and it's quite unusual for many of the citizens here who haven't ever heard about a mums and tots support group or a centre that's interested in helping out elderly and lonely people. It's actually great to be able to help people out in a practical way economically and also provide different support groups and a listening ear. Tell me about the charity shop, is that quite a common thing to find here in Italy? The shop is totally new to this area. People are not used to going in and buying things second hand or being able to take goods and give them away so that other people can use them. But it's actually an excellent opportunity for the people who can afford to take in their goods so that they're not using anymore. And they're actually pleased to be able to take them and other people can make good use of them. And it's a lifeline for some people who have actually had no way that they can go in and buy a new pair of shoes or a new outfit or something for their children. So it's so special for them to be able to actually come in and get something that they can use. And we actually use the charity shop to be able to help people out to pay a bill with the proceeds that we make from the shop or to buy some shopping and take it to a family who are unemployed and have no other way to be able to provide things for the children. And it's such a great opportunity here in Chita de Pieve that Live Twice have actually given us to help us and support us here in this community.